particularly thrilled to see all these uh, young minds uh, at our university today. Respect each other. Help each other in learning. Our, our students, our graduates coming from this university would be the best. It's not about equipping that student with the academic qualification, but also preparing them for the workplace. Hi, I'm Jennifer Buying Waiko. Welcome to UniTV. On this episode, we explore the Department of Mining Engineering and how it works together with government and the mining industry. We learn from the Applied Science Department about food technology and how they're preparing students for the workforce. Hi, I'm here with Elizabeth Nussing from the Department of Applied Sciences. Elizabeth, could you please share with me a little bit more about um, the Food Technology Department and what sorts of courses you have and the importance of food technology? Uh, food technology comprises of the engineering aspect, um, the biochemistry aspect, um, regulations, food safety, um, nutrition. So it's more than just, I don't know, the name as it sounds. You know, with the current um, country uh, focusing on its medium development goals in terms of food security, you know, this department can offer a specific significant role in the development of that country as a well. whole. Okay, um, usually most of our graduates they work in the food industries. You know, we have a lot of food industries which um, actually sponsors major events, etc. So our students, um, they're employed by food companies. Not only that, uh, we have a wide area. Um, they're also employed with um, health agencies, government agencies like nutrition. Yes, we do have our graduates working at the moment. Um, apart from that, uh, we also have those that can become teachers also with high school teachers, um, both sections as well. Yeah. So there's a wide range of opportunities there. So for all you Papua New Guineans out there or any people around the region, if you want to study food technology, this is the place to do it. With food security issues coming up and populations increasing, this is a very, very important field to be in right now. We look at the Department of Mining Engineering and how it works together with government and the mining industry. Let's speak to the head of department to find out more about mining at the PNG University of Technology. We have two degree programs, a Bachelor of Engineering in Mining Engineering and Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Process Engineering. And uh, we also have a, a master's program. Uh, Masters of uh, Philosophy in uh, Mining Engineering as well as Masters of Philosophy in uh, Mineral Process Engineering. Uh, because uh, uh, our course is uh, tailored in such a way that uh, there is no standard solutions but an engineer's uh, ability to use his uh, uh, science and engineering knowledge to solve uh, uh, challenges uh, and problems, especially in uh, petroleum and LNG. Uh, and uh, we want to uh, be able to increase the competency level of our graduates so that uh, they can be employed in any industry, uh, construction and resource development industry. Uh, we have uh, three sections in our department, uh, uh, mining engineering and mineral process engineering and uh, geology department. We have a uh, very good uh, workforce, especially uh, technical people. Uh, technical people, uh, we are talking about uh, more than 25 years industry experience. So uh, having a couple of them around is over 50 years industry experience. Uh, industry experience especially from the mining industry. The Department of Mining's commitment to developing innovative research and outreach activities ensures that graduates are equipped with the skills and knowledge to pursue careers in the mineral resources industry. Until the next UniTV episode, goodbye and God bless.